So good morning, all. So today we would like to give the presentation on classification of systems. Classification of systems. So the classification of systems are. Static and dynamic. Static and dynamic systems. Second classification: causal and non-causal. Causal and non-causal systems. And third one is. linear and non linear systems linear and non linear systems and fourth one is time invariant and time variant systems time variant systems the next one is stable and unstable stable and unstable systems fir and ir field systems the next one is invertible and non invertible systems invertible and non invertible okay so first we will see static and dynamic systems okay so is as a static system is defined as the present output of the system depends on the past outputs so y of n equal to x of n the present output of the system depends on present inputs so y of n is the present output of the system so y of n And x of n is the input of the system. Okay, for the any system, the output of the system is depends on present input only. Present input only. So, for example, y of y of n equal to x of n. If n equal to zero, y zero equal to x zero. Then n equal to one, y one equal to x one. Okay, so the output of the system is always depends on present inputs only. So then the system is static system. Okay, so the other number static system is memoryless system. Memoryless system. So otherwise the system is said to be dynamic. So means the dynamic system is the output of the system is depends on. Plus uh, past inputs as well as future inputs also sometimes. Okay, so let me draw the diagram. X of n is the input of the system. Then output is y of n. So y of n equal to x of n minus one. Okay. So y of n equal to x of n minus one. So this is the dynamic system. So if, for example, if n equal to zero, then y one equal to x of minus one. So present input is zero. Okay. So y one present the output of the system depends on previous output, past output. Okay. So similarly, if n equal to one. Similarly, n equal to one. So y one equal to x zero. So present output is one, but the output, the system depends on uh, past input. Past input x zero is the uh, past input, but present output is one. So otherwise, one more case, y of n equal to x of n minus one plus x of n minus two. So this is also dynamic system. 
So y n equal to x n minus one plus x n minus two. X n plus two. Okay. So if y n equal to zero, y zero equal to x minus one plus x two. Okay. So zero is the present output. Y zero is the present output. X minus one. So x minus one is the past out, uh, past input. But x two is the future input. Future input. So the output of the system depends on past inputs, future inputs also. So this system is said to be dynamic system. Okay. So the because uh, it depends on future inputs and past inputs. So the system is called memory system. memory system because it stores the previous inputs previous inputs so it is a memory system but uh, static system is memory less system okay so next one is causal and non causal system causal and non causal system so the output of this system depends on the output of this system depends on present and past inputs present and past inputs so y of n equal to x of n plus x of minus 1 so if n equal to 0 y 0 equal to x 0 plus x minus 1 so 0 is the present input present output that depends on present input as well as past input past input okay so similarly another case y1 equal to x1 plus x0 okay so the output of the system depends on present inputs as well as past inputs but does not depends on future inputs but does not depends on future inputs so it is a causal system causal system Okay. So otherwise it is a non non causal. So non causal means the output of the system depends on y of n equal to x of n plus x of n minus n plus two. Okay. So y zero equal to x zero plus x two. The output of the system depends on future inputs. If the output of the system depends on future inputs, so then it is non-causal system. So one more example: y n equal to x n minus one plus x n minus two. X n plus two. Y n equal to x n minus one plus x n plus two. Okay. So it is also a non-causal system. So the present output of the system depends on. past input as well as future inputs x n minus 1 is the past input x x of 2 is the future input okay so here in first case the output of the system depends on present and past inputs but in second case the output of the system depends on past and future inputs past and future inputs okay so non causal means the output of the system depends on future inputs so the system is non causal okay so already we have seen the relation uh, definition for dynamic system okay so dynamic system means the output of the system depends on past inputs and future inputs also are future inputs future inputs so all non causal systems so all non causal systems are dynamic systems but all dynamic systems are not yet non causal systems so because the dynamic systems are it may be depends on the output of the system depends on present in uh, past inputs or future inputs okay but coming to non causal the output of the system must be depends on future inputs okay so that's why All non-causal systems are dynamic, but dynamic systems are not are not non-causal.
Okay. So next one is linear and non-linear. Linear and non-linear. So here or linear system. So transformation of x1 of n plus x2 of n is equal to transformation of x1 of n plus transformation of x2 of n. If any system satisfies this condition, then the system is linear. So otherwise it is a non-linear. If any system satisfies this condition, then it is linear. So otherwise it is non-linear. So linearity. So linearity means transformation of weighted sum of the signals. Transformation of weighted sum of the signals is equal to sum of the individual transformations. Sum of the individual transformations. Okay. So here uh, we need to discuss two points. Okay. The linearity, about the linearity property. So the linearity property possesses two principles. One is superposition principle. Superposition principle. And second one is homogeneity. Homogeneity. Okay, so superposition principle and homogeneity. If any system satisfies these two principles, these two uh, laws, so then it is linearity, otherwise non-linear. Okay, so superposition principle means so some of the uh, leaving, uh, some of the entry currents is equal to some of the leaving currents, and it is homogeneity. So that means that means this one, superposition principle. Trans a, um, transformation of x1 of n plus x2 of n is equal to transformation of x1 of n plus transformation of x2 of n. So here I am taking transformation of some scaling factor a and b. Okay. So transformation of a into x1 of n plus b into transformation of x2 of n is equal to tra uh, transformation of a into transformation of x1 of n plus B into transformation of X2 of N. Okay? So the responses of transformation of weighted sum of the responses weighted sum of the responses is equal to uh, sum of the individual weighted weighted responses A into transformation of X1 of N plus B into transformation of X2 of N. Okay? So here solver question principle means Sum of the two signals, we are the response of two signals is equal to individual responses. So that is the superposition principle statement. Then homogeneity, weighted sum of the signals A into X1 of N. Here A is the scaling factor that is multiplied with the signal X1 of N. Okay, weight, some weight is multiplied with, with the signal. So that is the homogeneity. Okay. So, if any system satisfies this condition, then it is linear, otherwise non-linear. Okay. So, these two conditions are very very important. So, then only it obeys linearity property, otherwise non-linear. So, the next one is time invariant. Time invariant. So, that is y of n comma k is equal to y of n minus k. Okay. So this, this is the condition for time invariant system. Okay. So here y of n comma k is the output. Output due to input delayed signal. Output due to input delayed signal. Okay. Y of n minus k is also output output due to output delayed signal output delayed signal or response so Y of n comma k so output due to input delayed so input delayed means uh, like uh, x of n minus k Okay, that is y of n comma k is equal to transformation of x of n minus k. Okay, so but y of n, y of n comma k means y of n minus 
SK is equal to transformation of transformation of y of n minus k only. Okay. So if any system satisfies this condition, then the system is time invariant system. Otherwise, it is a time variant system.